How's it? Today's Saturday, March 11th. It is the SBD day today. I did not sleep very well last night. Last night was one of those nights where I kind of just didn't get ready for bed. I went out with a couple of my coworkers last night. Um, got back, I was like, whatever, I'm hungry. I ate and then I showered and then I ended up just falling asleep with all the lights on. I think there was still some food out, which is not great. But that did not lend itself to a good night of sleep at all. I ended up just doing what I do normally for squats. And then rather than doing 240 for the bench press for five fives today, which was a five pound increase from last week, I ended up doing 225 for five fives uh, for two reasons. One, first and foremost, this is my top set here at back squat, which is basically whatever I squatted on Wednesday, right, for three threes. So going back to the bench, uh, first and foremost, what I, the reason why I didn't do 240 is because 225 was hard as shit. Um, I did not think I was going to be able to do 240 for even one set of five. So why would I even load it at that point? So I decided to keep it at 225. Uh, second reason was that actually when I was benching, uh, Carlos, who was, you can see in the video a little bit earlier, he left. So he was the only person at the gym at that time. And I didn't want to die today. So I think that was a smart decision. It ended up happening that um, a couple people actually showed up when I was like on my third or fourth set. But at that point, you know, I've already committed to 225. But independent of that, right? 240, was, 240 was not going to happen today. It's just not. It's just not in the cards. I think one thing that I was feeling yesterday, as far as lifting goes, I just felt extremely sore, which is not usually something that I, I feel from any amount of lifting. And it was before I went to sleep. It was like, I think it was because I lifted really early in the morning, like 6:30. And then I, I was awake until probably like 3 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., something like that. And I guess just being awake that long with that type of like um, hypertrophic training is probably not super great. But um, yeah, so this is my last warm-up set for bench press here. And then I moved to 225. I took a jump to 225 because I was planning to do 240, right? And then... Once I unracked it, I was just like, ah, yeah, definitely 240 is not happening today. So this is my first set, and I am glad that I was smart and, and played the game. But, yeah, after that, I moved into my sumo deadlifts from last week. I did 175 for a top set of three, and then I went down to 160, which is like... 10% uh, down? No, 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 that's not 10% down. It's less than 10% down. Uh, it's just 10 kilos down. Pardon me. It's not 10 kilos down. It's 15 kilos down. That's still less than 10%. Whatever the case is, I went up 3 kilos today for the same rep scheme for both the top set of 3 and then the 3x3 uh, three three for my down sets. And honestly, I am surprised I was able to do them. I think for everything that I've kind of been experiencing lately especially in light of how bad I lifted yesterday being able to execute on something is 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 a good positive feeling um, I don't think I did particularly well as far as deadlifting goes today but I didn't fail and I didn't hurt myself so those are are two like perspectives that are like uh, really positive right um, yeah, I, I think that as far as it goes for my deadlifts, it feels like I am kind of getting into an area where my technique is okay. Uh, a couple weeks ago, it would be like kind of in and out. Technique would be good one week, the next week would be bad, and then it would be good the week after. And then now it just feels like I've, I've honed in the needle. This is 170. This is my last warm up before my top set at 178. 
And, I mean, I think I move pretty quickly. I don't think the positioning is the best, but it's definitely not terrible. You know, from the ground, I felt like my lower back was curling a lot more than it actually is, at least from the video. Uh, it curls right there, but not, not excessively, you know? And then, after that, I moved down to 163 and these felt a lot better one thing that i'm looking at for my deadlifts nowadays is like immediately right off of the ground if my my kind of hips kind of push down for that lower back kind of dipping into flexion um that's not something i i i don't think it's really impacting the way i deadlift but i think it it is showing up in the way i i lift for the snatch and clean i don't know if that's true but it feels like, especially looking at yesterday's cleans, it felt like I was just slightly flexed the whole time. And I don't think that that is good for the clean or the snatch. So I am going to look to have more active hips moving forward and be pushing a little bit harder um, for those areas. For my last set of three. And then after that, instead of doing my lateral raises which I said I was going to try to incorporate on the Saturdays I didn't have enough time today um, I ended up just doing my back extensions and then uh, dipping dipping out to work so I wasn't late which is good like overall like today's training was whatever I made of it you know deadlifts were pretty good squats were easy bench was humbling to say the least so yeah I'm learning you know, experiences. But that will be all for today. Thank you for watching. Shoots.